Hello everyone, this is Trish with Bird Feed. Welcome back for more Operation Christmas Child ideas and inspiration for your shoe boxes. Today's shoe box is for a girl in the age group of five to nine, and the theme is puppies and kittens. I have finally put my letter and photo, I've attached it to the top of the box with a sticker. And this is what she'll see when she opens her box. She has a Let's Draw Dogs and Cats illustrated instructions on how to draw the animals. I'm sure you guys have seen those in many of my shoe boxes. I really like those books. I get them at the Dollar Tree. And she has a puppies and kittens coloring book. A uh, wide ruled spiral notebook for school. And some googly eyed puppies and kittens stickers. I got those at the Dollar Tree as well. Then I recently purchased the, this um, headband, the kitty headband, at the Dollar Tree. It's got the um, flip sequins on it. And this was a name brand, what was it? On the Verge, I think is what this one was. And I think it had a price tag on it of $3.99. But I got it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. She's got a, a nice sized puppy dog, very soft and cuddly and huggable. And he's got uh, like glittery fabric paws. And I got this at Menards here in my area. I think Menards is a Midwest store. Um, for three dollars, two ninety nine ish, three dollars, um, last year around Christmas time. So I bought this for her box. I included a pink t shirt. This is a Gildan Dry Blend um, Youth Size Medium t shirt. I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. She's got a couple of pairs of girls' underwear and a couple of pairs of socks. I included a little kitten in a basket. This, these were the Barbie um, like accessories that you can buy at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, the Barbie brand. It's a little kitten in a basket with a yarn ball. I thought that was really cute. She's got a soap dish with soap and some hair elastics, different types of hair elastics in here. A 24 pack of crayons I got for a quarter at Walmart after back to school. She's got a pink headband with a gold, uh, silver thread running through it. Makes it kind of glittery looking. So she's got a functional headband and a more of a play headband. I included a necklace and a bracelet I got on clearance after Easter at Hobby Lobby. Paid less, less than a dollar for that. I included a hairbrush that has a puppy on it with a bone. <laughs> She's got a pink um, drawstring tote or I should say drawstring backpack is what I would call that. And a glitter bouncy ball. A um, toothbrush with cap. It has puppies on it. A 
watermelon lip balm, a little bunny novelty pen. I included a puzzle. I like to include puzzles or building blocks. I think uh, they're a lot of fun. Kids love them, and it's great brain, brain development. The puzzle uh, box is on the bottom of the box. We'll get to it in a minute. And I include a, a uh, pencil pouch filled with colored pencils, regular pencils, pens, uh, eraser caps, a scissor, and oh, we got another novelty pen in here, and a glue stick and a pencil sharpener. She's got a plain paper sketchbook so she can practice drawing her puppies and kittens from that book, a washcloth, and then her um, puzzle is Lisa Frank, Puppies and Kittens, eating a bowl of popcorn. And that is the Puppies and Kittens, five to nine-year-old girl, uh, shoebox. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found some ideas and inspiration for your shoeboxes. And I appreciate you stopping and uh, watching this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye now.